Welcome to On the Agenda, a look at current events coming up in the month of October. If you're interested in watching the running Wildcats, come out to have a treat. On October 16th, our Wildcats will go to Plum Grove to run against their team. On October 18th, Sunling School will make a visit. And on October 23rd, we'll mark when Winston Park comes to Sandberg to try their hopes. The last meet in October will be on the 25th. This is a district meet, which means all three district cross-country teams will come to Sandberg to have a cross-country marathon. If basketball is your game, you won't be disappointed. Girls basketball has already started this season. If you missed their first two games, you will not want to miss this one. Sandberg will go to Plum Grove School on October 16th to play a fine game of basketball. On the 18th, we will then travel to Sunling to play their fine team. And on the 23rd, the Wildcats will travel again, but this time to Winston Park. Finally, Sandberg will have home court advantage. They will stay home to play South on the 25th and Plum Grove on the 30th. On Friday, October 30th, Sandberg will be holding one of its many sack hops. Sorry, Sandberg students only will be admitted. There are two important PTSA meetings this month. One is a board meeting on the 23rd at 7.30 p.m. here at Sandberg. On the 18th, PTSA members will speak upon a serious subject. This is about drug and alcohol abuse and will be discussed at Sandberg at 7.30 p.m. This subject should not be overlooked and all members should attend. This is Mitch Ikensier reporting and now to Meg DeGrange with our editorial. Here with me I have some 8th grade students and we'll find their views on the new movie rating PG-13. How do you feel about the PG-13 rating? Well, I feel good about the ratings because a PG-13 movie, you know, would be for older than 13 people. And I think the younger kids shouldn't see some of the violence that's going on during all the movies, like as in Ghostbusters and all that. They had all the fightings and stuff. But I think it's a good idea, and same with R is okay. Now that now you parents think, like, if they don't want you to go to a PG movie without them, now you can say that if you're over 13, you can go without bringing your parents, and some kids like to go alone. <coughs> well, I think the, the PG-13 rating is good because a lot of times kids don't know if um, a PG movie is going to have a lot of violence or not, or something that, like, might scare them. But in a PG-13 movie, they let you know already that there's going to be something like that. I think the PG-13 rating is good now because now parents know if the film is suitable for children under 13 and if they don't want their children to see it, they won't feel as bad about it. And we can go see more movies now that we want to see that might be rated R. So I, th I like it. I think it's better. I think it was a waste of time to make that law. I think the idea was good in a way because parents want to know what their kids are going to see when they go to the showers. And they, they really want to know if they're going to see violence in these movies. And they think that if it's PG-13 that they're going to really see good movies and not come home scared or anything. And I just really think it was a good idea. I thought it was a pretty good idea so the, the parents of the children that are under 13 can, see, can know that there will be violence in the movies that they won't want their children to see. I think PG-13 is good because I'm 13 and I, I want to see the movies that have violence in it, but the kids that have, the little kids that um, don't like the violence, it's good so it keeps them out and you don't hear them crying in the background and everything. I think PG-13 was a good idea because if kids see scary stuff when they're younger, they might be scared when they're older. I think it was a good idea in a way because then the parents would know about the violence and everything, but in a way I don't think it was good because the children see a lot of violence on TV. You have now just heard the opinions of some students at our school on PG-13. Now for my opinion. While the rating does not affect me, I still feel there should be some restriction on the movies children under 13 can see. Some movies have bad scenes and violence, and that can affect a child's behavior. If a child feels a movie is so good that he or she must see it, ask a parent to go along. Parents love good movies once in a while also, just like children. I know I do. This is Meg DeGrange, back to the studio. Well, that's our program.